And today we're going to look at our 25 basics. So if you're one of our students, the 25 basics are our most basic 25 punches, kicks, blocks, combos. And most of these basics come from either katas that we do early on or are just trying to help you develop rhythm, balance, technique as you work through some of the combos. But a lot of it is to get warmed up at the beginning of class. We normally do these at the beginning of every class, so you want to make sure you're practicing these and getting the rhythm down with them and working on your technique with it all. But today we're going to do the first one, the first video we'll do for the 25 basics. I'm going to break it down into a couple different videos so that it's not just one long video. But our first one is going to be left foot out, left hand out, single punch. Get in a good stance, grip with your toes, bend your knees, use your legs to develop that good stance. Punch front two knuckles here, line that up, punching right here at the sternum, not up here in the chest, but right down here at the sternum. I'm going to come right here, I'm going to punch. Last six inches or so, my wrist twists, and you punch it out. Push it out. You'll switch, malate, switch right foot out, right hand out, punch, punch, punch. The second one you'll do after that is you're going to go into a shizente, a natural stance. Feet are about shoulder width apart. Don't get them too wide, not as big as you wish your shoulders were. But right about here, shoulder width apart. Same punch. Punching center of the chest right here. Punch, punch, punch. Good. The next one we're going to go up to a face punch. So I'm going to punch right up here towards my nose. Not some giant way up here in the sky, but right up towards my nose. Punching front two knuckles. Always front two knuckles. Wrist flat here. Don't want your wrist bent where you punch like this or down this way. Break your wrist. Line it up. Line those bones up. So face punch. One. Itch. Me. San. Shi. Now when we're doing these in class, we're going to do 20 reps of each of the 25 basics. But for the sake of the video, we'll just do a couple of them. So as you work through these videos, what you're going to find and what you should see in class is that you're going to have sets that break them up. So we just did three different punches. Now we're going to do a combo to kind of set that apart. And then we're going to do three more blocks. And then we'll do another combo. And then we're going to do three more blocks after that. So you see, to some degree, sets of three broken apart by combos as you work through these. So we just did single punch the chest, then shizente, single punch the chest, then face punch. And now we're going to do uh, sweet punch block. So I'm here. I've got a double bone block up, fist is shoulder height, 90 degrees here at the, the elbow. Elbow is pointed down with it. So I'm in that shizente, feet shoulder width apart. I'm going to sweep, punch, block. Sweep, punch, block. Sweep, punch, block. I want this sweep. So if my right hand is out, my right leg is sweeping. So I'll sweep, cross my center line, come over, punch in the center, cross my center line with the block over. Sweep, punch, block. Try to engage your legs, build those muscles, but also work on your balance so you're not rocking big time with it. But you're just maintaining that conservation of motion with it, engaging those muscles. So our, our next set, now that we did that combo, our next set is going to be three blocks. The first one, and it depends on the instructor you have sometimes. In our system, sometimes we'll do down block, double bone block, and then high block is the next set of three. Other times you'll do cross body, single bone, and shoe toes, the next set of three. For this video, we're going to do down block, double bone block, and high block first because it matches what we do with our one step, our Ipan Kumite. So our 25 basics and our one step should pair up where I'm in. I'm engaging in these repetition, breeding reflex with my basics, and then I practice this with a partner so that they punch, I block. I punch, they block. So first one, down block, and we'll be here. So I want my, my hand a little bit away from my, my leg here. I don't want it way back here. I don't want it way out here like a low punch. Just right back here. Now, as I step, this hand knuckles down, comes right in between my legs. It shifts across. It shifts across for protection. This hand comes across. I make kind of an X with my forearms here, and I block down. I come across. I block down. I come across. I block down. 
down. Now, as I think down, don't just think straight down. I'm not throwing my energy, per se, at the floor. I'm pushing it out. I'm pushing it out. I'm pushing it out. Like I'm throwing my energy this way, kind of like a 45-degree angle towards the floor, towards my you know, opponent's knees or waist or something here. But I'm here. So I step, block. All right, and the second one, next one will be double block. So we've already done this one, but shoulder height, 90 degrees, elbow down. I'll step, block across, step, block across, step, block across, step, block across. Don't bring it out too wide. Keep it tight in here with your shoulder. And the last one's gonna be high block. So I step, hands meet and switch, meet and switch. Meet and switch. Now, when I'm doing this, I don't want it too close to my forehead. I want it about wrist, fist height over my head as I come up, as I come up. Not here, but here, keep this elbow in tight for protection with it. I want to come up. I want to come up. I want to come up. All right, that's our first video we'll do for the 25 Basics.